We did our project on the disappearing eggshell. The materials needed for this experiment are a 16 ounce mason jar, white vinegar, and one fresh egg. The process. Place the egg into the mason jar. Pour the vinegar into the mason jar. Leave a half inch space at the top. It is important to leave room at the top of the jar or it might burst from carbon dioxide gas produced by the reaction. Loosely cover the jar with the lid and ring. Again, make sure it is not too tight so that the gas can escape the jar. Day one, when the vinegar was first poured, the egg stayed at the bottom. After a few hours, the egg rose till it was floating. There are little bubbles that covered the egg. The second day, the egg is becoming opaque, opposite to the solid white shell we started with. The bubbles around the egg are slightly bigger, but still covered the egg. Day three, the egg shell has completely dissolved. The remains are floating on the top with the bubbles. The bubbles still completely cover the egg. After the first day of the egg being soaked in vinegar, the shell of the egg began cracking. On the second day, it was still cracking open, but by the last day, the entire egg shell had fallen off and was gone. The egg also grew in size. Our decided hypothesis for this experiment stated that after the egg had dissolved in its shell, we would be able to drop the egg from a certain height onto the ground without it breaking because the egg shell would have dissolved. As a group, we feel that this would occur because as the calcium carbonate in the egg shell dissolves, the membrane around the egg plumps and firms. This causes the egg to become bouncy, just like rubber. After removing the egg from the vinegar, we tested our hypothesis. The egg bounced, but when I tried to pick it up again, the membrane broke. There are factors that could have changed the outcome. For example, we could have dropped the egg on a smoother surface, or the temperature of the ground could have made a difference as well. The acid has reacted with the shell and eaten away at it. The shell is made up of calcium carbonate and this gets dissolved due to the acid. The inside of the egg should still be intact because the vinegar doesn't break down the egg membrane. The egg also swells up because some of the liquid seeps inside it via osmosis. You should be able to see the yellow yolk through the membrane.